And the reason why it could be confusing for a lot of students is because now we have two monomials that have the same degree. Well, hopefully, if you guys remember, if you have two monomials that have the same variable and the same power, those are what we call like, like terms. And like terms, we can do what? Combine. So in this example, I have negative 3x squared plus 4x squared. That just simplifies to x squared. Then, so I have equals 1 half. I'm going to write this as a power. So that's going to be x to the 0 power um, plus x squared minus 2x to the fifth. So now I have all the powers, but they're not in descending order. So I'm just going to rearrange everything. So it's negative 2x to the fifth plus x squared plus 1 half x to the 0. And you don't really have to write x to the 0. I just like to do it because it helps me out. So whenever you have numbers, I always like to include x to the 0. Because guys, what is x raised to the 0 power is 1. So it's not really changing your problem. But now it's in descending order. So I can quickly identify my degree, which is 5. And my leading coefficient is negative 2. Does anybody have any questions or would like me to clarify any of those problems? 